Hello, welcome back to my collecting channel. In today's video, I am so excited. I'm actually going to be opening up this mystery box here that I got from one of my fellow collectors here on YouTube. And I honestly don't even remember what is in this. So I am so excited to open this up with you guys and take a look. I know they're Tokidoki and I know that some of them are the new Donatella line, but that's all. That's all I remember. Now I remember which ones are in there. So I've had this box for like three weeks and I'm finally getting the chance to open it. So I don't want to wait any longer. Let's get going. Okay guys, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about the box really quickly. Um, I did take the label off so it didn't have addresses, but I have not actually opened it yet. Um, this is a box that I won in a giveaway on Cassie Collects channel. So if you don't already follow Cassie Collects and you like channels where people collect toys and, and fun stuff like that, I will link her down in the description. Cassie is the reason I actually started my channel. Um, on my personal channel, I would do some toy unboxings and some pin videos here and there, but they didn't really mesh with like the other stuff that I was doing. And so I just like got self-conscious about it and like deleted them and then I just would watch other people and secretly low-key want to always start my collect my own collecting channel. The first YouTuber that ever got me into like watching YouTube was Bunny over at Graveyard Girl when she used to open up all of those cool toys and stuff and that just like sucked me in and ever since then I've wanted to do my own channel um, where I do that and I just for whatever reason didn't do it for a long time but now it's been like five years and I'm finally doing my own channel. But anyway, what really inspired me was Cassie over at Cassie Collects. Um, I love her channel. She has a good personal channel which is beauty stuff and then she has the separate channel where she opens up mystery boxes and she does stuff like Tokidoki and Pokemon and like all that kind of stuff. Um, and anyway, she's very gracious and when she gets duplicates and stuff, she likes to have giveaways. And so I always enter, I never win anything, you know, always a bridesmaid, never the bride. I know, that's not true, I've actually been married for 15 years <laughs> as of next week, but you get the point. Um, so I was super shocked when I actually won this one. So she sent me this box and I don't remember everything that's in it. And I purposefully didn't because I just, you know, I answer all of them. And I do remember that it has some of Tokidoki's new Donatella and her sweet friends. I think it's a series. Are they in series three? I think it's series three now. Um, I will have it show up on the screen if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so I do know that a couple, I do know that it's from there. I don't know if she had any like leftovers from other ones because sometimes she does that, but I do know that those are in there. I don't remember which ones from the series are in here. And when I found out I won, I purposely didn't go back and watch so that I would be surprised. And so yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, enough talking. Thank you so much, Cassie, if you are watching this. Um, I really, really appreciate this. I'm so excited and thank you for inspiring me to start my own channel because I love it and it's so much fun and I love sharing what I love with you guys. So, all right, enough talking. Let's get into the box. So I'm just going to set it right here on my little table and I'm just going to reach in there and pull out whatever is in there. But let me just make sure there's not like a note or something, you know. Sorry for talking to the side. She packed it really, really well. Oh, and she, oh my gosh. She used it, oh, I have some of this already, I save it. So she must do the same thing. She packed it with Tokidoki tissue paper. Oh my gosh, so cute, love it so much. And especially the tissue paper has Adios, who's like my favorite, him and Chow Chow are like my favorite Tokidoki characters. Even though I don't have anything with them. Um, and she actually put them back in the boxes. So that's like, oh, what is this? She gave me a little card too, you guys. Oh my God, Cassie. I mean, I don't even know if you'll ever even watch this, but if you are, oh my God, Cassie. <laughs> so give me a second, I'm gonna read the note. Okay, so she basically just said like, yay, um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy this. But you guys, this is like super cute, like envelope. Like, oh my gosh, hello, oh, so cute. And I love that she kept them in the box, you guys, because if you didn't know this, um, Tokidoki does really adorable boxes. Like, it makes you, like, not want to get rid of them, but then, like, you know, you can't be a hoarder. I already hoard toys. So here's, like, the options. I think the little toddler ones are included in this box, if I remember correctly. 
which are super adorable but i would be happy with any of them because i don't have any of this line so i'm excited for whatever i get okay so i'm gonna open up this first one and oh my gosh these boxes are just I can't, it's like it's like getting it brand new so cute oh my gosh she even like retaped it like you know the tape is on there oh my god and now I'm gonna like destroy it trying to get this tape off because I am like a bull in a china shop when it comes to okay good I got it oh she used uh, scotch tape but still I'm like a bull in a china shop when it comes to trying to open like boxes oh my husband he hates it so much because I always just like rip things open he's like it's like a wild animal open this up so okay and she re-put them in the bag and taped them up oh my gosh so much work Cassie thank you so much and let's see the first one we got is oh it's a little Oreo panda I mean it doesn't say Oreo because you know copyright but oh my god I didn't <gasps> okay let me show you how cute is this little Oreo panda now I must admit I'm not a huge Oreo cookie fan I know blasphemy just don't really love them. I'm more of a um, Biscoff cookie kind of person. But this is super, super adorable. And uh, I'm totally here for it. So I like the detail on the little cookies. And then the little cookie um, dress. And I mean, this is just like... Oh my god, it's so cute. And it's very heavy. Sorry if you hear my door. My door? My dog snoring. I do this a lot, you guys. Is this something wrong with me? I take two words that I'm going to say and I just mush them together. So instead of saying my dog snoring, I just say dooring. Why do I do that? It's a, it's a new development. Um, so yeah, so anyway, this is adorable. As you can see, I already have some Tokidoki stuff displayed behind me, but I didn't have enough room for the Donatella and her sweet friends that I have from the other series. So I actually am working on a, another display somewhere across the room. So I'm going to be including these with that display. So I'm super excited to add this. Okay, enough talking about this one. Let's open the other ones. I actually don't remember how many are in here either. Your guess is as good as mine. I literally don't remember. Oh, looks like there might be a unicorn in there, too. Or two. Okay, okay. Um, okay, so we're going to stick with these, though, first. And do the next Donatella. Oh, my gosh. I love that, like, these. Are, she retaped them and everything because it, like, makes it feel like an authentic experience. With all the authentic frustration <laughs> of trying to open these. It's just me. I don't know why. I just have such a hard time. Okay. All right, we got the next one. Which is also tape shut, so let's find out what I get, what I get. Ta-da! Oh, it's cute little... You know what? It's so funny. Okay, so first let me show you, and then I'll tell you what's funny about it. So this one I think they call her Super Donatella. I'll look on the little list. But she has a cape on the back. So she's like a little Donatella superhero. Um, when I first saw it with that little like mask, I thought, ooh, does she drive a motorcycle? <laughs> so yeah, but this is like so cute. I love her little like space boots, her little silver space boots. So yeah, so I think they call her Super Donatella. So what's funny about this is I was just telling my husband that I don't actually have any Donatella out of the series. Um, I have all of her sweet friends <laughs> and like pets and stuff, but, and I do have her in the little spaceship, but I don't actually like have any Donatella. So now I have Super Donatella. And let me check the list and make sure that's what she's called. I think that's what she's called. Okay. And I'll tell you the other, I forgot that they have names. Oh gosh, I'm such a bad Doki Doki collector. So the little panda is Cremola. It's cute. And then the, um, yes, Super Donatella. So that's what I got. We got one more Donatella. And it looks like she threw in two of the Unicorno Series 8, which I don't have any from this line. So I'm really excited. Not only am I really excited, but I literally don't even know what these are. Like, she must have opened them in another video. And I know I've seen them, all her videos, but I don't remember what they were that she got duplicates of. Or one she didn't want. I do know one from this line. I mean, obviously it's not what's in the book. I mean, in the box. But the chaser is Olivia. And she is like a pizza one. 
And so you see her there at the bottom where it says Chaser. Like, I need that pizza one. Um, I'm in a couple of groups online that sell these. Um, uh, where people, like, buy, sell, trade. And I saw it, I think, listed for, like, 40 bucks. Which is kind of cheap for a Tokidoki Chaser. So I may... <laughs> I don't know, maybe do that in the future, but um, not today. Uh, maybe for Christmas or something. But these boxes are so huge. I feel like the other ones were not this, this big. So, but the boxes are totally my aesthetic. I love pink and purple, so cute. But let me open that last Donatella one. I think it's one of the toddlers, I think. Um, there's like two toddlers in this series like I showed you. So I think that's what it was, or maybe it was the monkey. It was a monkey or a toddler? I think those are, that was the duplicates. Okay, here we go. It is one of the toddlers, so cute. This is the girl, so this is Waffleina. So cute, so excited that I got the girl. I love that she has purple hair and I, you guys, this is probably the one I would want the most out of the whole series. So I'm so excited this is one of them. Because she's got little waffle ears with like little like dollop of like whipped cream or something on the top. And it's just so freaking cute. And a little strawberry and little blueberries. Okay, let me show you. Look how cute she is. And I love that that waffle on the top has a bite taken out of it. Oh my god. How cute is this? I love her purple hair. That's my favorite color. She's just a cute little t alien toddler from outer space and she likes waffles it's so cute you guys i'm so excited these are big like i feel like these are substantial i think like tokidoki's making their toys like a little more like you know got some oomph to them so okay awesome those were so amazing and now these are just added bonus um of the unicorno series eight series eight so I'm gonna go ahead and open these because these are literally a surprise. Um, if I had to choose, I, I don't know. I love them all. I mean, I really don't choose. I mean, look, I love them all. So no point even saying. And I don't even remember her opening these. So uh, we'll have to see what they are. Okay, so now we're gonna open up this first one. And like I said, I have no idea what's in here. Not even a little bit, so. She taped it, so she like opened it right here and taped it. And you did a good job taping. I didn't even notice it. Okay, okay, all right, ready? Surprise! Oh, look, it's um Odette. I think was the name. Let me check, and then I'll give you a close up. Um, I just saw the box. Okay, yes, this is Odette, which is funny. I had a family. We have family friends who that is their last name. And the top, so I'll just describe it and then I'll show you. So Odette is swan, she has swan, she has like a blue little jewel and a cute little swan on top of her head and the swan is flocked. So what that means is like fuzzy, furry. So, all right, let me show you Odette. Okay, so here is Odette. Hopefully you can see her okay. Oh, get her in front, Laura. Okay, so um, my camera always wants to like focus on things behind me. So this is a cute little Odette. She's like blue and white and she has like a little heart and stars on her face and these blue little jewels and the swan. Super, super cute. Super cute. All right, one more left. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. It's been a minute since I've opened some Toki Doki stuff. You know, with this, um, with the COVID happening, I haven't had as much extra money, you know. Times are tight for everybody. Um, all right, so ooh, I saw a little peek. Are ready? Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Ta-da! It is the peacock one. So it's, both of them are bird inspired. It's so cute. I love birds. It's so funny. My husband and I were just talking last night. We were watching um, Sugar Us Extra Sweet or whatever, the new um, season last night. And they had to do a cake that was a peacock. We were talking about how much we love peacocks. And I also mentioned how much I love swans. So these are perfect. So this is, what's the name? This is Pluma. And she has the peacock feathers and these hearts on the top. And like the little eyes of the peacock um, at the top here are on the sides as well. So let me take you... Uh, let me give you a closer look. Okay, there is Pluma. And you can see her pretty head and these plastic, um, I don't know why I felt the need to say plastic, like the whole thing is made of plastic, but there's her tail. 
vinyl or whatever they are, but super cute. And actually, um, peacocks are very mean, <laughs> if you didn't already know this. So there are wild peacocks in Pasadena, right outside of LA, and we used to live in Pasadena, and the peacocks would sit up in the trees, and they would terrorize dogs. So they are very mean, but this one is adorable. Pluma is adorable, and I absolutely love her. Okay guys, well that is all that came in Cassie's box. If I had to pick one as my favorite, I like to do that at the end of these videos, I would have to pick adorable little Waffleina because she's so cute, I love waffles, I love that there's a bite taken out, I love her little purple hair, she's everything, and I love her, okay? So, super exciting, so, so grateful to Cassie for doing those giveaways, and I just can't believe I won, and it's so exciting, so thank you so much Cassie I really appreciate it now if you enjoyed this unboxing and you like Tokidoki stuff and Tokidoki unboxings I actually have a shipment on the way because it was just my birthday in July the end of July and so I have some Tokidoki stuff coming for my birthday as part of my birthday gift from my hubby so I have a total of 12 boxes coming um four from three different lines so I'll be doing three different videos for those so if you enjoy watching unboxings and you enjoy Tokidoki and you are not already subscribed to this channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and thank you again to Cassie over at Cassie Collects be sure to check out her channel that is linked in the description and I will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye